Secretary of State John Kerry is causing some confusion over upcoming climate talks in Paris. Kerry told the Financial Times a deal in Paris wouldn't be legally binding, saying it definitely is not going to be a treaty and there are not going to be legally binding reduction targets. In other words, the U.S. wouldn't face consequences like sanctions for violating an agreement. U.S. priority has to be to adopt an ambitious, robust, and binding global climate deal. That's at odds with the European Union, which says the Paris Agreement has to be legally binding. But Kerry's stance makes sense from the administration's point of view. The more legally binding any deal is, the better the case Congress can make that it should have a say. And with Republicans controlling both houses, that's something the administration likely wants to avoid. It's important to note this isn't a new strategy. In the wake of the unproductive Copenhagen talks in 2009, the New York Times reported policy leaders were already moving away away from fights over legal language to focus on broader goals instead. But it's more relevant now because both the Iran nuclear deal and the ongoing Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal have left some in Congress wary of the White House handling international agreements on its own. They claim that the science of global warming is settled, but I suggest questions remain. And that's without mentioning the partisan divide. Republicans who control Congress generally oppose action to cut carbon emissions, and the same goes for almost all of the GOP candidates. On the other hand, that kind of opposition makes a legally binding agreement all the more appealing to leaders outside the U.S. who want to make sure the next president can't just walk away from a deal. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.